Whoa. That was incredible. And hey, sorry I barked when you took your pants off. I thought it was a squirrel. Ready to go again? Well, I need time. I'm still recovering from that one thing you did that was so obscene it couldn't even be described on lame, dying network TV. Have you always been so... Freaky? No, but when I got my diagnosis, I made a bucket list of wild sex stuff I want to try. Jess, I would like to help you cross off every single item on this list. Oh, you would do that for me? All except for number 17. I'm allergic to chocolate. But isn't that only if you eat it? You know what? Let me make a phone call. Brian, I'm glad your girlfriend could join us for dinner tonight. Thanks, Lois. And when she gets back from the bathroom, none of you say anything about cancer. I'm serious. I really enjoy spending time with this woman, and I don't want you ruining it for me. Okay, of okay. Course, we got course. it. Lois, you didn't have to go through all this trouble. It's like a whole Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, it's no problem, Jess. We're happy to have you. Chris, pass me a turkey like, would you? I prefer the limbs. I got a limb for ma. Uh, let's stop talking about the food, all right? Anyone seen any good movies lately? I saw that new Tom Hanks movie. Oh, man, I love every Tom Hanks movie, except The Terminal. You know, there's nothing worse than when you're flipping channels and you're like, oh, God, it's Terminal. Don't say it's Terminal. God, what have I done to deserve this? Why does it have to be Terminal? Sir, I will tell you a great Tom Hanks movie. Catch me if you can, sir. You have literally never called Peter, sir. Well, I've never told you that I can't throw a boomerang, but it's true. <laughs> See? I told you. At least I don't have cancer like your girlfriend. Come on! Did you know that Lois was so moved she called Channel 5 to do a profile of me and Jess? And now, get out your tissues. It's a real-life Quahog version of The Fault in Our Stars, the novel and hit movie your gay nephew quotes on Facebook. My name is Jess. I have cancer. But cancer doesn't have me. My name is Brian. I have a disease called love. It may have started in my penis, but it spread to my heart. And Brian, when you learned Jess had only weeks to live, you proposed. Yep, got in right under the wire. No one's ever loved me like Brian does. You know, sometimes at night, I just watch Jess sleep for hours. And I go, hey, hey, you alive? And she says, yeah. And then I go, all right, good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry to be a puss. Brian, we really will be together forever. Forever and ever and ever. Ever, ever, ever. Can you believe this? What? Jess is gonna live. I I'm sorry, I took a, a muscle relaxer this morning, tenazidine. Before you drove here? Yeah, I took half of one before I got in the car and then another half at a red light. It's fine, it's tenazidine. It I, I might take another half. You want a half? Oh, no. Come on, it was prescribed by a doctor to a guy named John Selvaggio, who has a mailbox that he can't see from his front yard. It's tenazidine. Stop saying what it is! Tenazidine, the white plastic pouch in your neighbor's mailbox that might be three months of drugs. I'm afraid we have troubling news. Due to budget cuts, we'll be laying off one employee. The internet pretty much only lets us fire white males, so if you're not a white male, you're safe. So is this safe? Safe! What? He's half black. Why? What do you need? Glasses? No, He's white I don't by need a mile. glasses. He you're the one who needs glasses. A lot of and people do that. what happened to this kind it's of coat body temperature issue? I know, it used to happen I a lot in the too. 70s, but it doesn't seem to happen really that much anymore. A it's a connection to a bygone era when men settled their differences That's face what to face, thrusting their chest into one another. I miss having a guy. I'm talking out. about stuff. I've never cleaned my ice tray. Oh, you have to do Why that. Why do I have to? You're poisoning your family. What's a big deal? Carrying an ice tray from the freezer to the sink is like ringing the damn dinner bell for arm hairs. Come to think of it, I don't remember seeing a few short hairs of in my ice cubes that I'm hoping were from my arm. Cool off, Griffin. It is no big
ill. It's just that someone's getting fired in front of everybody tomorrow. Well, that sounds fine. I guess I'll just ill. It's just that someone's getting fired in front of everybody tomorrow. Well, that sounds fine. I guess I'll just see it. What? Old joke. You're out. Old joke. I put my own twist on it. There was no twist. Oh, you're crazy. It was a tip of the hat to my son. You're lazy. If anything, it's a gift to our longtime viewers. Oh, what a gift. Merry Christmas. Here's a warmed over turd from. Happy birthday, Lois. You know, today, you officially become the oldest woman I've ever slept with. Yes, you said the same thing last year. Well, unlike you, that joke never gets old. Oh, and I forgot to pick up the cake. Hey, Lois, I don't like any of these snacks. Can I have something from the kitchen? We can have snacks from the kitchen? I could go for a sandwich. No, no one gets snacks from the kitchen. You see what you started? Hi, I'm here for the pony rides. What? Oh, boy, this this must be some sort of big mix-up. Don't worry, Lois, I'll handle this. What's his name? Lightning. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sure Daddy had a last-minute work thing. He's always put business first. Even growing up, he never came to any of my piano recitals. It was the 80s, so he was always doing cocaine and sushi business meetings. All right, Hideki, it's a deal. Now let's celebrate the way rich guys do by... <laughs> God damn it, I snorted the wrong one. Ah, oh, wasabi! Wasabi in my nostril! Okay, I'm off to the grocery store. So what'd you do with the gun? Gun? Yeah, my father gave me a gun as a present yesterday. Where was that during birthday sex? Maybe I would have finished. Unlike you, guns can actually fire. I don't think this marriage needs a gun. Good for Lois. Guns are a major problem, especially in the hands of someone like... <laughs> it was in a box with Chris's adoption papers. Oh... You heard nothing. Hi, I've got my gun here. I'd like to rent a stall, please. Sure. You need a tutorial before you start? <laughs> yeah, it's a gun range. I think I got it. Wait, I think I did it wrong. Well, at this point, it's hard to say. He suffered severe head trauma. So if you want to beat him in Mario Kart, this is your chance. And the champ is dethroned. I did, I did what? I'm sorry, Daddy, but you're a very cutthroat businessman. And maybe, worst of all, you engage in constant gratuitous animal testing. Sir, as you requested, we had all the monkeys watch Vikings. Do they like it? Do they think it's worth me putting in the time? Uh, no, they didn't care for it. Good. This is valuable information. Now have them watch Sarah Jessica Parker and Thomas Hayden Church in divorce. Sir, they've just watched 66 consecutive hours of Vikings. Oh, if you what? Could... So you want humans to watch divorce? Because if monkeys don't, that's what has to happen. We're going to spend real time together. Really? Oh, that'd be wonderful. I haven't been this happy since I went on safari. Oh my god, this is so much faster than Firefox. <laughs> All right, let me go to Facebook. F A. It's auto filling fat butt rodeo. Peter! You were supposed to stay on Firefox. <laughs> yeah, well, I still want that money. It's the only way I can afford that surgery to turn myself into 100% stained glass. I don't get it. Neither do I. Oh, my God. Dad's beautiful. All right, here's the plan. I close pin his balls. Meg and Chris, you twist his nipples in opposite directions. I'm glad you came around. Peter, you may want to take a look at this. And for him to love her, I guess that really is more important than money. Wow, Dad's really taking this to heart. Meg, Meg, tie my shoe. Good morning, is what normal families say. Hey, Quagmire, you in there? <gasps> Holy crap! Oh my god, he must have autoerotically asphyxiated himself. Yeah, while he was watching clown porn. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby, you mean No, Brenda, it's not complicated. Trying to get a straight answer out of a 23-year-old girl is complicated. So do you want to go out sometime? Out like go out or hang out or just do something? Like a date. Like a date date or like a date? Both, I guess. Yeah, sure, maybe. I don't know. Yes, no. Here's the first three digits of my phone number. Email me. Hey, Pete's sitting at home watching Meg Popper zits. I choke myself every day, you bastard. Wow. I 
I guess he's really gone. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to kill somebody else now. Death to America! And butter sauce! Don't boil me! I'm still alive! Iraq Lobster! Iraq Lobster!